cerrado. You know, Andy Ruiz, I was just watching that clip of him hitting the mitts like that, pounding right hands, crushing those left hooks. And it made me realize something that's a possibility, okay? Everybody's talking about Andy Ruiz, like he's hard to deal with. His father wanted too much money. Um, there has been some question marks and I've had some questions about Andy too. You know, Andy has kind of been on the shit list for a while, but I want people to understand something to play devil's advocate. You know, that narrative doesn't necessarily mean to be true. There's always things when two people come together to fight. If both people want the fight, the fight's going to happen. Now it's easy just to say Andy Ruiz don't want the fight. You know, because he's ducked some people before. Sure, he's on that ducking list. He ducked Luis Ortiz in 2020. He ducked Dillian White in 2020. So, you know, it could be a possibility. Okay, let that be known. However, based on Andy Ruiz, hard chin, fast puncher, you know, his feet are not fast, but he has fast hands and he can punch. It made me realize that maybe Wilder didn't want the fight with Andy unless it was for more money than Andy was either worth or he was worth. See, it's not like Deontay Wilder has had uh, very good uh, negotiation skills. He's been difficult before. This whole thing, like when he was WBC champion, he made some bad decisions. You know what I mean? He was a guy that turned down a hundred million dollars. You can't refute that. You can't dispute that. You can't do anything but agree with it because those are the facts. The $50 million, there was no contract. Nobody set Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua down for that shit. Okay. What it is, it was just an email. Like you take it or leave it. You got 48 hours. I mean, who does that really? You know what I mean? What a little low level crime boss shit like that. That's what it sounded like. But knowing that, you can't totally throw all the blame on Andy Ruiz. Because like I said, it takes two to tango. So if these guys wanted that fight to happen, that fight would have happened. It would have happened. They Obviously, they didn't want it to happen. They put stuff on social media. But then behind the scenes, it may be a totally different issue going on. They would tell you, oh, he didn't want this. He didn't want that. Because Malik Scott said, oh, it's about 45 million is a pretty good amount. I'm like, I agree. But then Deontay Wilder the same day said, we didn't even talk about money. So how is he going to know about money? Malik Scott said it. So if you guys are saying something totally different, you know, it's either what you want people to know versus what people say. You need to tell some pre people in your camp to shut up because that's not, you know, if it's not true, don't leak it out to be true, especially somebody coming from Malik Scott. You know, so I don't buy that whole thing. And then seeing that clip of Andy Ruiz hitting like he is, see, doesn't mean it, you give Andy Ruiz zero chance. You know, like that, I like J uh, Wilder because Wilder knows how to fight tall. Just like Joshua boxed him the second fight with ease. He didn't have a worry about Andy Ruiz. Bars. <laughs> right? But, you know, that could be, a fight all of a sudden, oh, it's out. Well, now we know the WBC is not doing anything. We've just been through that. So it is what it is. But as far as getting people to understand that negotiations uh, to effectively, successfully get them made, it takes compromise. So the question is, you know, was Wilder willing to compromise? And I would say no, I don't think he was. 
I think what he was like, you know, you need to take this deal. You ain't nobody. You won't be nobody until you, you know, if you don't take this deal, nobody will remember you. And let me counterpunch. Everybody will remember Andy Ruiz because he's the guy that dethroned Anthony Joshua and probably put him in a mental shock at the same time becoming the first heavyweight champion of the world. So, yeah, people are going to remember Andy Ruiz, okay? So, you thinking that because he doesn't kneel down, bend the knee to your negotiation needs, he's not going to be known. Now, he won't be as known. He should have fought. But then, here's the thing. Your best win is Luis Ortiz. He beat Ortiz, too. Sure, it was an older uh, Luis Ortiz, but he still beat him. You know what I mean? So, I think it's Wilder's duty to take an incentive to make that fight with Andy Ruiz to show who's the better out of the two. Because that man also beat Luis Ortiz, but he also beat Andy, Anthony Joshua, a guy that you want to fight. So it's a lot of reasons. So he should fight Andy Ruiz. But just saying, hey, come on, Andy, you won't, you won't take this money. And it's like, okay, well, are you guys not going to negotiate? You know what I mean? And that means if you don't, that means how real serious were you about that fight? And I don't really think Wilder wanted that fight because he's basing everything off of what will happen in January. But that'll put him over a year out of the ring. And if he gets starched by Joshua because Joshua's fought twice this year, don't blame me. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of the possibility of Deontay Wilder not wanting to fight Andy Ruiz. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.